In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the locations of all of the pieces of data in Grounded 1.0. As far as I'm aware, you're going to need all of these if you want to 100% the game. These data are going to be in order, and you should be able to see on the time on the video, there is a bunch of different timestamps which show the different parts of the data. They're in order, in game order, of the menu. So the first section, for example, is Time Ominent then space and development, then it goes through all the labs, then you've got the miscellaneous. I've also included the other notes as well as the burgle transcription units that are in the game too. So make sure you go collect all of these. If you need specific ones, just skip through the video and look for the ones that you need. Yo, only 10% of my viewers are subscribed right now, which means if you all subscribed, we'd probably be able to hit 2k subs just from this video alone. Please hit that subscribe button. You can change your mind anytime and it is completely free. The first piece of data in Time at Ominent is a tape called A New Idea. This tape is in this field station right here in the bottom left corner of the map. The second tape from Time at Ominent is over here inside of the trash can. What you need to do is go into this mint box here and break the mint to get it out of the way. The tape is right behind the mint. The next Time at Ominent tape is called Spacer Operational. To get it, you're going to need to come into the trash can, go to the very back, and it's on top of the battery right here. The fourth tape from Timer Omerant is called Endless Possibilities. In order to get this tape, you're going to need to come to the sandbox in the top right corner. There is a footprint. Inside the footprint, you need to dig in the same location that I do, and you'll find a buried skeleton. This skeleton has this tape on its body. The next tape from Timer Omerant is called Recognition at Last. What you need to do is come to the trash can yet again. We're going to go inside of this can right here, and it's just on a pile of dirt right in front of you. The final tape from Time at Ominent is called Yet Another Failure. If you want it, you need to come to this area of the map right here and grab it out of the dish right next to the trash can. The first tape in Space of Development is called Fired. In order to get it, you need to come to the trash can and find this polystyrene cup. Then, when you go inside the cup, it's right at the back of the cup. The second piece of data in Space of Development is called an auspicious beginning. In order to get this tape, you need to come to this field station right here, and it is on the floor under the resource analyzer. The third piece of data in Space of Development is a tape called Raw Science. If you want to get it, you need to come into Burgle's lab, then just follow the path that I take, and it is on the table right here. This one's very easy to get. The next piece of data in Space of Development is a note called Embiggen Test 45. If you want to get this note, what you need to do is come into the Oak Lab. You should find it on a table just inside the Oak Lab. The fifth piece of data in Space of Development is called Embiggen Test 50. In order to get this, you need to come to the Oak Lab yet again. All you need to do is come over to this table right here, and it's on the drawers. The sixth piece of data in Space of Development is a tape called I'm Tiny. What you need to do is come to the mysterious machine right in the middle of the map, and you're just going to find it in the center of the machine. The seventh piece of data in Space of Development is called Embiggening Logistics. In order to get this, you need to come to the picnic table and go to the field station underneath the book. The eighth piece of data in Space of Development is Spacer Safety Test. To get this one, you need to come to the field station right outside of spawn. The ninth piece of data in Space of Development is called Lab Modules. You're going to need to come to the Oak Lab, then open the door where the batteries are. There's a Mega Milk Molar in this room, but there's now also a tape on this console right here. The tenth and final tape in Space of Development is called A Little Exhausted. In order to get this one, you need to come to this area of the map right here, underneath the Flingman disc in the hedge, and you will find a little broken lab, and this tape is on an upside down table. The first piece of data in the hedge is a tape called Kaiju Chicken. In order to get this one, you need to come to the field station, which is right at the hedge ascent, and it's just on some drawers. The second piece of data in the hedge is a tape called Spider Infestation. In order to get it, you need to come to this small piece of lab right here. You'll find the tape right on a table. The third piece of data in the hedge is a tape called Zippy. In order to get it, you're going to need to zip line across as you're going through the hedge. You'll find it on this set of drawers right here. The fourth piece of data in the hedge is a note called Reboot. Once you've taken the first zip line, you need to turn around and walk up into this old lab right here. It's on the table. The fifth piece of data in the hedge is a tape called Damage Control. To get it, you just come into the main room in the hedge, and it's on the table. The sixth piece of data in the hedge is a note called Re-Reboot. In order to get this, come to this rusty lab yet again that we were just in a couple of notes ago, and then just follow the path that I take to the very end of the lab. You'll find it on the table right here. The seventh piece of data in the hedge is called Project Zip P. In order to get this tape, 
you need to come to the dangerous room in the hedge lab that has the Orb Weaver Jr. in, and it is on a table right in front of you. The final tape in the hedge is called Evacuation. To get this one, you're going to need to complete the hedge lab, and it is right next to the hedge super chip. The first piece of data in the pond is called Pond Research Note. To get it, you're going to need to come to the pond depths, then find this tube here, swim up it, and as you can see, the research note is on the table next to you. The next piece of data in the pond is a tape called Great Cabbage of Belgium. Don't ask where they got this name from, I have no idea. All you need to do is open up the pond lab, then swim up in the entrance, and you should find this tape on a table just to the left. The third piece of data in the pond is a tape called Side Effects. To get this one, you need to come to the Haze Lab for some reason and um, go inside the haze lab and it's on this drawers right here with another tape. The next piece of data in the pond is a note called Ham's Test Day 1. If you want to get it, you just come into the pond lab and it's to the left of the breaker switch. The next piece of data in the pond is a tape called Fight with Trudy. In order to get this tape, you're going to need to come to the very end of the pond lab, then just follow the path that I take over here, up the ramp towards the end of the lab, and you're going to find it right next to the super chip on the opposite side of the table. The sixth piece of data in the pond is a note called Ham's Test Day 7. In order to get this, you're going to need to come into the final room of the pond lab and just follow the path that I take. It's straight in front of you, right next to the surveyor scanner. The seventh piece of data in the pond is a note called Ham's Test Day 15. In order to get this note, you need to come to this part of the pond lab here, then go into the room with the bed in and just pick it up off of the bed. The eighth piece of data in the pond is called Muscle Sprouts Test Kitchen. What you need to do is come to the area of the map where you activate the button to open up the pond lab. Then it's just on this table right here on the way out. The ninth piece of data in the pond is a note called Ham's Test Day 36. In order to get this note, you need to start making your way through the pond lab. And you should just find it on this table right here if you follow the direction I take. The final piece of data in the pond lab is Ham's Test Day 91. In order to get this one, you need to come into the final room of the pond lab and just follow the path I take. Go up the ramp here, do a little bit of parkour, jump over the railings, and you should just find it on the floor. The first piece of data in the haze tab is a note called Pipe Problem. To get it, you need to come to the field station in the haze and it is on the table. The second piece of data in the haze is a tape called Trudy Blues. In order to get it, come into the haze lab and it's on this little set of drawers right here. The third piece of data in the haze is a tape called Big Brain Time. In order to get this one, you need to come deep down into the haze, then just turn left. It's right on this shelf right here where the fungal mushrooms are. The fourth piece of data in the haze is a note called Phase 3 Results. To get this one, you're going to need to come to the end of the haze lab, Right before you enter the final room, you'll find it right here on the right hand side. The final piece of data in the haze lab is a tape called Blazed Earth Protocol. To get it, come to the very end of the haze lab and it's on this set of drawers. The first piece of data in the Black Ant Hill is a tape called Extra Precaution. To get this tape, you need to come to this portion of the map in the Black Ant Hill where all the taste teas are. Then follow the path that I take up the ramp here and it is on the table right in front of you. The next piece of data in the Black Ant Hill is a tape called Under Siege. To get this one, you need to open up the main part of the Black Ant Hill where the A computer is. And on the right, on a set of drawers, you'll find the tape. The third piece of data in the Black Ant Hill is a note called Mixer Trial Summary. To get this one, you're going to need to follow that path that I take here, come to the main area of the Black Ant Lab, then go down the ramp as if you're going deeper in, and you should just find it on this table here next to some granola bars. The fourth piece of data in the Black Ant Hill is a note called Mixer Relocation Program. In order to get to this one, you will have to kill the assistant manager first. Then walk along the catwalk here, and you'll see that this file is right on this table over here. The fifth piece of data in the Black Ant Hill is a note called Security Briefing. In order to get this one, you need to come to this portion of the Ant Hill right here where clearance level B is, then turn around and it's right on a table behind you. The sixth piece of data in the Black Ant Hill is called Super Chip Protocol. In order to get this, you need to go to the deepest point in the Black Ant Hill, then go inside of the lab. Walk up the ramp and you'll see the note is all the way at the end, right next to the chest on a table. The seventh piece of data in the Black Ant Hill is a tape called Lab Lockdown. To get this one, you will have needed to defeat the assistant manager yet again. You need to go into the final room and turn right, and it's on the table in front of you. The eighth and final piece of data inside of the Black Ant Hill is a tape called Imminent Collapse. To get this one, you're going to have to come to the storage room inside of the Black Ant Hill, 
And then look on the beds. The first piece of data in the undershed is a tape called Going Dark. In order to get this one, you're going to need to unlock the undershed lab, obviously. Go inside the lab at the very entrance, then turn right, it's next to the ASL. The second piece of data in the undershed is a tape called raw storage. To get this one, you're going to need to go out of the door and into the actual part of the undershed. Then, just follow the path that I take. You're going to need to come all the way over here to the field station that is in the undershed. Then, it is on the set of drawers in the field station, just on the left side. Next piece of data in the undershed is a tape called last resort. To get this one, you're going to have to gone through the entire undershed and come to the final area, go inside the lab, and it's on the left on this table. The fourth set of data in the undershed, I've clumped all together because it's all in the same place. In order to get this, you're going to need to go into the final lab of the undershed, then turn left and go through the door. You'll find there are four notes in this room all on the tables. Pick them all up. I've classified these all as one part. The final piece of data in the undershed is a tape called Project Mant. In order to get this tape, you need to come into the final room where we just were, and then go straight ahead again into another, even smaller room. In this room, you'll find on the table is the final tape. First piece of data in miscellaneous is a note called Local Fauna Report. To get this one, you need to come to this portion of the map right here. There's a field station right near the Oak Lab. It's just inside of the field station on the drawers. The second piece of data in the miscellaneous tab is a note called New Lab Reconnaissance. To get this one, you need to come to the field station behind the trash can, and it's in the exact same place as one of the tapes earlier. The third piece of data inside of miscellaneous is called CCTV Reports. To get this one, it's in the far northwest upper yard field station. The fourth piece of data inside miscellaneous is a note called Goodbye Wendell. To get this note, you need to come into the Haze Lab and it is on the table right in front of you on the left. The fifth piece of data inside of miscellaneous is a note called Inventory Inspection. To get this one, you need to come to the field station inside of the Sand Pit and it's right in front of you on the drawers. The sixth piece of data in miscellaneous is currently bugged, so I don't have a video for this one yet. I'll post a video though when they do fix it. The seventh piece of data in miscellaneous is a tape called Exiled. To get this one, you're going to have to beat the assistant manager, then use the keycard to open this lab in the sandbox, and you'll find it on the table in front of you. The eighth piece of data inside of miscellaneous is a tape called All of These Eyes. To get this tape, you need to come to the field station by the wood pile. Then it's on the drawers in front of you. The ninth piece of data in miscellaneous is a tape called Goodbye. In order to get this one, you have to activate the giant scabby in the map, by getting all of the super chips and giving them to Burgle. In this next part of the video, I'm going to cover all of the recon journal locations. The first one you need to find is over here, by the hedge near where the plug is, you'll find a skeleton. This skeleton has the recon journal, compliance officer, as well as suspicious snapshots one and two. The next piece of data is underwater. You're going to need to swim over here, inside of where the third breaker is, to unlock the pond lab. You're going to find a skeleton in the wall here, and he's going to have Recon Journal Toxicologist, as well as Suspicious Snapshot 4. The next piece of data is called Recon Journal Special Forces. To get this one, you need to come in the Haze Lab, then turn right as you come out the door. You'll find a skeleton. As I said, Recon Journal Special Forces is on his body, as well as Suspicious Snapshot 3. For the next skeleton, you need to come to the Hot Charcoal area of the map. You'll find the dead body. He's crushed under a rock. Unfortunate for him. Then, when you loot it, you'll find Recon Journal Entomologist, as well as Suspicious Snapshots 5 and 6. For the next Recon Journal, you're going to need to come to this secret new cave in the map, inside of the ravine, in the far west of the upper yard. Then, just follow the path I take, parkour up the rock over here. If you already broke it, you'll need to use a bomb and drop down from above. Then, you'll find a sticky situation. For the next Recon Journal, you probably already have this one. Because I told you to loot this skeleton earlier, it's inside of the sand pit, in the skeleton, in the footprint, that also had one of the tapes we looted earlier on. The next recon journal is called Intern, and to get it, you need to come under the hedge, into the area that has the rotten red ant club, and it's inside of the lean too. For the next piece of data, you're going to need to come to this portion of the map right here, where the blue milk molar cap is. Drop down into this cave, and you'll find a skeleton right in front of you. This skeleton has a piece of data called Loyal Subjects. Finally, we move on to the BTUs that are in the game. The first BTU is a tape called Order Number One. What you need to do is come into the Oak Lab, go outside, turn right, and you'll find it on the floor. The second BTU is a tape called Excellent Mustache. 
To get this one, you're going to need to come to the old rusty lab that we were at earlier. Just turn left as you go in and it's on the table. For the third BTU, what you need to do is come to the fallen branch in this portion of the map right here, go inside the field station and it's just right in front of you. For the fourth BTU, you're going to need to come underneath the hedge lab and find this fallen piece of lab right here. Once you go inside of it, you will see that the tape is just on the ground right there. This one's called web samples. The final piece of data in the game is a tape called Roby's Song. To get this one, you need to come into the Black Ant Hill. At the very, very bottom of the Ant Hill, go into the lab. Then, when you go inside, you just need to turn right and it's on the table in front of you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. I'll see you in the next video.